How's it going everyone? I hope everyone's having a good day. I'm going to show you how you can use kicks, snares, and claps on GarageBand. Right now I'm using the iPad. If you're using the iPhone, the settings should be very similar, so it shouldn't be too different. So now let's go ahead and start a new song. So in the last video, you hit plus, and then you'll be brought to the piano layout, but we're going to move over to the drums. And you can see underneath it, there is smart drums, acoustic drums, beat sequencer, more sounds. All right, so let's go into smart drums. So the cool thing about smart drums is this will make a beat for you if you wanted to, or you can add into, you can add the instruments into the layout and it'll create beats that are already synchronized and timed already. So you can see on the top left, it says hip hop drum machine. You can tap that and it shows six other options. These are different sounds you can add to the instruments. They all sound a little bit different. So I'll go to classic and I'll play the, the kicks. Then I'll go back to hip hop and play the kicks again. And you can tell they sound a little bit different. But now the button underneath it is the power button. It'll turn the instruments on and off. So say we have the kick playing and you want to stop it. All you have to do is hit the power button and it'll turn it off. If you want to turn it back on, tap it and it's back on. So if you want to reset the whole template that you're working on, all you got to do is hit reset and it'll bring it right over. So now if you hit the dice that's above reset, it'll generate a random beat for you. So that's the smart drums, let's move on to the acoustic drums. So the next one is acoustic drums, we'll tap that, and it'll bring you to a real life drum set. I rarely ever use this, if you know how to play the drums in real life, this might be very helpful for you. If you want to change the sound of it, you can tap SoCal, and there's different sounds right here you can tap brooklyn and those are different sounds here now we'll go to beat sequencer and now instead of having the instruments on the right we'll have the instruments on the left if you tap an instrument icon and you drag it over you can turn the volume of it off, you can mute it, or if you have your headphones and you just want to listen to that one instrument, you can just tap the headphones. So we'll slide this back over. Now on the bottom, it says modern 808. That's the sound that we're using for our instruments. You can change it like the other ones. Next to it are the presets that are already made. You can hit classic house, We'll tap that. This is what that sounds like. If you want to stop it, it's the same thing. You just hit the power button. You can hit the power button there. If you want to reset it, it's a little bit different time. And you can go back to the preset button. And you just go back to new pattern. And it's reset. So now, the third button on the bottom is the dice again. It'll generate a random beat. You can go ahead and tap that. And it'll generate a random beat. The cool thing is you can also keep tapping it to get more beats. So we'll stop that. We can go to information. And then this is your settings here. You can increase the length of it. So say you want to have 32 steps. You can increase the length. So this is, it'll only show four quarters. If you want to switch to the next section, you can just tap tap above and it'll move you to the next four quarters so that's with 32 if you want to see 64 this is what 64 looks like you have four different sections and you can also reset the pattern there so that's the settings for the beat sequencer of the kicks up here you can play those 
Here are your snares. Here are your claps. Here are your hi-hats. If you would like to add another instrument, all you have to do is hit the plus button on the left side where the instruments are, and this shows you the available instruments you can add. To preview them, all you have to do is just hit the play button and you can preview them. It's solely up to you and the computer has nothing to do with your timing. This just gives you more personalization to your beat. So on to the next one. Now that we're back on our drum layout, we can go ahead and tap more sounds. So instead of being brought to a drum layout like the other three, you're actually brought to which sound you wanna use first. So what I use is hard bounce, which should be an electronic. And this is in the Skyline sound library. If you don't have the Skyline Heat sound, sound library, you can go up top where it says go to sound library, tap that, and it should bring you to the sound library. So if this doesn't pop up early, you can go ahead and hit see all and Skyline Heat should be right here. We'll go back, more sounds. Go back to our hard bounds. So now that I'm in this layout, I'm gonna go ahead and mess around with this bass. I'm gonna show you how I'll make a beat. So now I'll go ahead and edit this. Now let's see what it sounds like with the piano in the back. I'll add some hi-hats so I can add some more sound to it. So how I do this is go back to more sounds. I use 808 Flex for my hi-hats. We'll tap that and we'll go ahead and experiment with these hi-hats. Let's edit it so it'll sound a little bit better.
And that's it. This is a preview to a beat that I'm making. Hopefully this helped you out with creating claps, kicks, and snares. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I see you guys again.